Well, welcome everybody. I want to introduce you to Lana, one of the hello many wonderful people that I've met through the Hawa virtual caravans and eventually in person. And she graciously agreed to let me interview her. So we can forget about them now. And I have been in this demographic too of what I would consider nomad adjacent, where yeah. we may not necessarily be on the road full time. We're still nomads, but we may have obligations that keep us um, in one spot for a while. Um, I know that that's your case, but how do you envision this morphing in the future of how you want to spend your time? The dream is a full time nomad. That being said, I do have family, I do have kids. Uh, a grandchild. I guess the short answer would be open-minded. I don't know. Uh, the way I see it right now in my head is I'm a nomad full-time. I live in my rig and I just travel between the kids. And they're all spread out like all over the country. And you, you just that. did a couple sprints across the country? I did. I went to Florida twice and he, his name is Steve. Steve. He did really well. I'm very proud yeah. of him. Uh, shout out to my mechanic. He's just absolutely awesome. But his name is uh, Honest Auto. Shout somebody. out. Yeah, Honest shout Auto. out. And then because I got one of those very rare uh, type personalities. Are you an INFJ? Yes. Oh, of course she is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know about yeah, that. Yeah, I'm one too. Once you discover that. You get the lens that, oh, oh everything makes sense now. Yeah. That's how it was yeah. for me. So that's why so many different interests, uh, sometimes seemingly mutually exclusive. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> We make it work, don't we? I love nature. I love camping. I love all this, but I also love culture. I yeah. also love to yeah. go to a museum or see a play. Yeah, all I love stuff. both. I can't yeah, do yeah. without the other. I can tell when I need the other. When it's like, okay, now I need the shot of this. Where and when did your awareness of the nomad lifestyle begin? I've always wanted to go camping. About 12, 10 years ago when I started realizing how incredibly unhappy I was <laughs> in my marriage, you start fantasizing. How would I make my life better? In those dreams, I decided, well, I'm just going to get a van and live in the van. Oh, so you didn't have any like external inspiration for that? It just occurred to you? Yeah. I didn't know anything about the nomad lifestyle. I was just going to live in a van. Life happened. I got out of the marriage. Things kind of got, you know, setbacks and stuff. But um, that has always been in my head. Wow. Yeah. That's so cool. I don't know that I know anybody else who, yeah, I'm just going to live in a van. It's just my own idea. F Instead of watching, you know, thousands of YouTube videos to get those ideas. Uh, yeah, now I got to watching the YouTube well, videos. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know anybody else was doing it. Well, if I live in the, in the van, I'll be out of here. Yeah. yeah. So what is the history of this rig with you? There has been a van before. It was uh, a shorty. It was a B100 Dodge. It was a van body put on a Chevy uh, oh. pickup frame and it had such a badass it was so cool it, it, it was, was exactly what you needed then right yes <laughs> yes it had a 454 engine it was a beast i called him uh, buttercup that was his name uh, i had it all built out and i went cross-country to virginia and it just unfortunately got hit by an 18 wheeler and got totaled so Jeez. that was uh, one of the setbacks Whoa. and uh but while i was recovering physically i uh was introduced by a friend to the whole idea of nomad life so i started looking at it it's like okay. oh I'm not the only weird one. <laughs> <laughs> and I discovered the uh, the RTR, the uh, okay. the events, and I said, "Well, um, I've got to at least try it. Um, I'm definitely going to do it again. So, uh, oh yeah, uh, I'm going to try it now. See uh, see what happens." Kind of took the front seat out of the uh, VW wagon, okay, that I have, and uh, flopped the, the the back seats down put a mat in, in it, 
put a little bit of food, a sleeping bag, a tiny, tiny little uh, camping stove. And uh, that was it. And I went off, put my dog in and then went to the RTR. I came back knowing that, yes, I was going to do it. So uh, then started the, the whole journey of, well, rig. I was pretty sure I wanted to be in the van. When I designed the whole van on a computer, they just built it out, everything was just so cool. And then I said, well, what if I did the travel trailer? So uh, I designed a whole travel trailer. Let's, let's let people in on a little secret. What was your profession in your working well, life? I have an engineering background, uh, yes. <laughs> and then what if it was a pickup truck? So I went through like every possible combination okay. with the full design, with everything. Then I said, well, there's this Suburban sitting in the yard dead. Mind you, I already had called junkyards to take it away take us through the progression of the builds in the living area. So the first one was um, the truck got fixed and then there was a, a friend of mine texted me and says, hey, there was a caravan up uh, by Vegas, come on up. There was nothing in there. I just threw boxes in there yeah. and said, I'm going and my AC went out. Oh, the, 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 the truck hadn't been fixed totally yeah. at that time. And what time of year was this? Uh, it was pretty warm. I think it was like May or oh, something. Wow. And for the dog, I couldn't do yeah. it. So I couldn't go. But that was kind of a first yeah. build out, no build out. I've designed it all. And uh, it was, I don't even remember. It was in the beginning, it was just like I had a big battery bank, lots of power, put up two solar panels right off the bat because I knew I, I wanted power. I did some things and then came back and said, okay, this didn't work, that worked. Because yeah, how would I you know unless you try it? Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, exactly. So um, I came back and redesigned it. <laughs> so it started out with a really no build build just a mattress on the floor and boxes and it came to be the version 5.2 the palace that it is today <laughs> yes. we, will, we will get there in a moment so through all those builds and the the practicing that you're doing what kind of camper do you think you will be the types of camping that you do now um in terms of like you know bouncing between Dispersed camping or boondocking, stealth camping, campground camping, what, what is your sweet spot? So again, uh, INFJ, can't settle on one thing, <laughs> <laughs> love them all. Short answer would be open-minded, again, uh, whatever feels right at the yeah, moment. And there's no reason but to just pigeonhole yourself. That's part of the design is I am prepared to do anything. I can go out in the wilderness completely and survive there for a month easily. I can also go into the city and do a stealth camping mm -hmm. and attend a play or go right, to, yeah. a, to farmer's market. Sometimes I just, I love meeting all these awesome people and then having conversations mm -hmm. and learning so much. And I also like my solitude. Yes. I need my yes. Solo time. Some of each. So yeah. I will be. I will be doing it all. Yeah. I'm, I'm not. Yeah. Everything. I want everything. <laughs>